Welcome to Scrap Heap Challenge, where mighty metal monsters are majestically manufactured from mountains of scrap. This week's challenge is to build a rich, roaring railroad locomotive, and we really do mean railroad, because our machines will have to drive up to the tracks before converting into a rail-going locomotive. And they won't just have to stay on track, they'll have to haul a one-ton trailer, just like a real train. Waiting patiently on Platform 1, ready to show their metal, are the Tunnel Rats, motley maintenance engineers from London Underground. I'm the father of all vermin. Other teams better watch out. These rats fight. Union rep Sicknote is the captain. He can't wait to flex his managerial muscle. Sicknote's boss, Jonah, will be rolling up his sleeves, helping out on the heap. And they'll be aided and abetted by fellow engineer Penfold. The rats help keep London on the move. It's like playing with a giant train set every day. At the end of a hard night's work at the Victoria Line Depot, it's off for a fry-up at their local cafe. Usual? As the usual, yeah. Our boys have been getting into shape with a strict diet and exercise regime. Lovely stuff. We are the Tunnel Rats. Taking their place on the grid are the Pit Stop crew, a burly bunch of boffins from the turbocharged world of Formula One racing. Dave's the captain. He's done everything. Off-roading, rallying and, of course, Formula One. Marco's like a dog with a bone and won't stop until the job's done. And Aid's the ideas man. Give him a problem and he'll find a solution. The pit stops are Grand Prix veterans. They all work for the Arrows research and design team. And they're pretty handy with the power tools for a bunch of lab-coated techies. I'd like to think we can win this event. We don't start anything we can't finish. We are the pit stop crew. OK, teams, gather round. Tunnel rats. Yes! Pit stop crew. Yes! We think you're going to be chuffed, chuffed, chuffed to bits with your challenge today because we want you to build a rip-roaring railroad racer. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know the rules. When we throw the wrecking ball, you've got just ten hours. Lisa, let the chaos commence. Right. Wait for it. Go! To help keep both teams on track, we've drafted in two technical consultants. In the pit stop's green corner is Mick Rice. He's operations manager for a company that makes railway maintenance vehicles. And over the wall in the Tunnel Rats underground lair is locomotive engineer Bryn Spencer. So what's the big idea on this one? And I think the secret to this is we're going to make it lightweight. If we get any derailment, just pick it up and put it back on. Yeah, yeah I like the sound of it. V8 power? V8. Maybe not V8. What I was thinking of is something more like... ..something like that. A motorbike. motorbike. And we'll sit that on the rails and we'll drive through the rear wheel. So it'll be like a motorbike and sidecar. The Rats Railroad motorbike will need an outrigger sidecar to stabilise them on both land and rails. They'll drive to the track using the two wheels of the bike and the single wheel of the sidecar. When they mount the rails, they'll attach four extra metal rail wheels to guide them down the line. It'll be a seven-wheeled wonder, which should be easy to lift onto the track. However, its lightweight may mean it's in serious danger of derailing. We're going to need... Well, we're going to need a bike. Bike. Big, talky bike. Big. Yeah. Big bike. OK. Wheel hubs. We've got to find a vehicle that's got the distance between the tyres to match the railway line. So what's that distance you have to do? It's 4.8 and a half. That's the standard railway gauge. We don't get the thing right, it's going to come off the track. The pit stop crew plan to use a car to drive straight onto the rails. They'll make mechanisms front and back to lower four extra guide wheels onto the line. They'll need a vehicle with an axle width that's exactly the same as the track, so the tyres fit precisely on the rails, otherwise they could be left standing at the station. The most important thing is the chassis is we've got to measure the track, yeah? Right. Unless we know what that is, unless we get that right, we're wasting that time. OK. So, right, ready to roll? Here's the tape yep. measure. There you go, Thanks. Marco. Okay. Right. OK. Hit the Let's road. Let's go. 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 Right, we need a big bike, right. and we need it now. You two, go out and get right. it. Go. Both teams are quick off the grid as they head for the heap. Hybrid railroad vehicles aren't just a madcap idea dreamt up by Scrap Heap Challenge. They've been around for years. This one's from the 1960s. 
The railroader is something of a quick change artist. Once aboard the railway lines, it lowers front and rear guide wheels by means of a hydraulic jack and, hey presto, you've got a miniature locomotive capable of shunting a load of 300 tons. It's what you might call the sports car of the tracks. Back on the heat, our teams have a long way to go. The tunnel rats are out bike spotting. 850 cc. What? 850 cc. Yeah, 850 sounds good. Um, what we'll do is we can bring it over. Have, have a look at it, right? Looks a bit small. 850. That ain't 850. No. <laughs> it's not 850. No. No. Okay, back out we go. It's not bigger than that. It's a two-stroke. We want some. You really want a four-stroke with a bit of grunt to it. Right. Okay. Right. Not a problem. Back we go. Talky, yeah. The pit stops have already completed several laps of the yard. Yeah, I think most of these are just... They haven't know, got chassis, have they? Uh, ...watercock cars, aren't yes. they? They're searching for a vehicle with axles exactly the same width as railway tracks, 4 feet 8.5 inches, or 1,435 millimetres metric, so they can drive on the rails. Hi, guys. Uh, the ambulance is far too big. Rear track's over 2 metres. That's huge. OK, keep looking. Rats Captain Sicknote is still amazed by his scavenger's stupidity. What part of the 850 and the 250 didn't we quite get the gist of? The bit that sticks in between, mate. Yeah, I thought as much. We need that bike now. That's a key part. Get that bike. Pit stop scavenger Marco has managed to flag down a vehicle that might just make the grade. Uh, track's about uh, 1450. Probably about as close as we're going to get, I reckon. Perfect. The sooner you get it here, the sooner we can get started. Yeah, it's going to be quiet out there. The tunnel rat's lair is still decidedly empty. The scavengers still haven't found a bike, but Captain Sicknote wants to get started on the other parts of the machine. If you can find some steel rims, I mean, no steel, no alley, just steel rims only, if you can chuck them in and bring them back, when you do and if you find a bike. And yes, bossing his real-life boss Jonah around is proving rather enjoyable. <laughs> We're working on it, Steve. This one okay for you? That's perfect. Perfect. Let's get it going. The pit stop's taxi is stuck behind a rather large bus. These lab coats are going to have to forget the drawing board and show some serious muscle. Then it's time to hitch a lift. Go, go, go! And go. show some Formula One driving style. Goose it! <laughs> Yay! Oh! Whoa. Oh, he's got brakes. Jonah, where are you? The rats have got the scent of something big. Oh, right, good. Talk to me, babe. You're my eyes and ears out there. Tell me what you're looking at. <laughs> oh, babe! It's a quality bike, mate. All right, we're talking Yamaha. We're talking big. You can see 650 on the side. 650 sounds good. Let's roll. Slowly, yeah. Let's hope they've got their figures right this time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Have a look at this waist. Ooh. <laughs> you found one. Eventually. Is that big? It's big enough. Is that big enough? What size is that? I can't tell what sort of oh, things are about. No, 650? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, which one's your boss? One of them is your boss. Joan is the boss. Joan is the boss. Joan normally. is the boss. Basically, he's just bad luck. Is he? <laughs> it's just bad luck. No, it's, I can't put it no nicer to The man is just bad luck. I mean, he'll walk out the office, it'll be a sunny day, yeah. and it'll rain. Right. He'll walk back in the office, it'll stop. Brent, do we need the indicators on this? No, take them off. <laughs> Stupid question on the railway. Do we need the indicators on it? Yeah. I think we're going to do a left turn halfway up the junction or something. There we go, that's that gone. <laughs> and true to form, the slick Formula One boys are already firing on all cylinders. Dave! Dave! Hi! That's some going. We're barely into the day and you've already got power in your car. That's first, pretty impressive. Yeah, first things first. Yeah, you're always that much of a fast mover. Try to be. Try to be. Try to be prepared. Excellent stuff. Now. Working for arrows, I'd imagine that's very much a white coat wearing, clean, pristine kind of environment. Yeah. How are you getting to grips with the grease and the dirt? And I've got a long and varied history of different motorsports like here. Yeah. Like a bit of dirt? Like a bit of dirt, yeah. Formula One is only the latest one. So you've got quite messy in the past then? Yeah, rallying, touring car. You know the other team are, uh, are people who work on the trains, on the mm -hmm. tube trains? Do you think they've got an unfair advantage? Maybe not, because it's got to drive on the road as well as drive on the track. Yeah. In the early 1960s, steam trains began to be phased out. Stations were closed and miles of track were left to decay. The first line to be saved was the Bluebell Railway in East Sussex. This is where we'll be testing our railroad races. I thought I'd make an inspection of the track and get some hands-on experience. 
Now, do you want to sit down and have a go? Well, all right. Yeah? Am I allowed? Yeah. <laughs> but, but jump in if you need to. Now, back that back a little. Right. Feel the weight of it. It's quite stiff. Yeah, it, it is, yeah. If you push that window forward, you can lean out in a professional way and look down, you know. But there was a serious purpose to all the huffing and puffing. I managed to recruit our expert, Bluebell boy Norman Blake. He knows every gauge, point and gradient our teams will have to conquer. Welcome to this bit, a bit of a hot seat today. It's very nice. It's warm on there, isn't it? Yeah. Now, we've done quite a lot of different forms of transport over the years on Scrappy, but we've never done rails, and I don't really know what you need other than wheels with bits on the edge to stop you coming off the rails. It's a matter of... Right, matter. well, a, I'm a, a train, for a start, a train doesn't um, have any steering, no. apart from the rails itself. Yeah. Looking at the um, Tunnel Rats' machine there, yeah. I, I, I think that's complete madness. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll be fun to see what happens at the moment that uh, goes over any point yeah. work at all, because right. uh, in my view, that will come straight off. And what about the pit stop crew now? Essentially, what they've got there is, is a taxi. If that comes off, right. the weight of it means they'll yeah, never get, they'll get never it back, get back on. on. No. Yeah, so at the moment, then, if you had to put your money on one team or the other, who uh, you... At the moment, my money is firmly with, with the, the pit stop the crew, pit yeah. Stop crew. It's not that I think the pit stop crew are going to win, it's just that I think the tunnel rats are going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Firm favourites, the Formula One boys, are cutting their cab down to size. This taxi won't be taking any more fares. Uh, teams, you have eight hours remaining. Eight hours construction and destruction time remaining, team. Thank you. It's strangely quiet in the rats' lair. Of course, it's time for a break. Union rules, okay, Governor. It's a cup of tea there. As always, there's one rule for the bosses and another for the workers. The eagle-eyed scavengers have spotted an axle which they can easily cut to the correct width to fit on the rails. Only problem is getting their high expectations down to earth. Right, I'm gonna need some assistance, please, gentlemen. The managers are forced out of the office and onto the shop floor. They could be more hindrance than help. All right, everyone on the back, get some weight. Come on, there she goes, there she goes, come on! Not having it. Not having it, we're fucked down. <laughs> no, you're a big old one, huh? Sick note is great, he's, he's, the, he's the, the captain, he's the union rep, so he has to have the brakes at the right time. They so it's always break time. But they uh, do seem like a real laugh, though. No, they're very funny, they're very funny. And yeah. completely bonkers machine. The yeah. pit stop crew, their taxi, seem like a more conventional design that might work a bit better, but time will tell. What are we going to do to get in there? The Formula One boys also need axles, but they're sensible. Why waste time and effort getting a vehicle to the workshop when you can perform the surgery on the key? Say when. Hang on. Rats, Jonah and Penfold are almost at the end of their tether. That's better from behind. So will their racy rail bike ever get out of the platform? Or will they be hitching a lift on the pit stop's taxi train? Welcome back to Scrap Heap Challenge, where our teams are going loco, trying to build railroad racers. Formula One techies, the pit stop crew, are converting a taxi to drive on both road and rails, and a guidance system with extra wheels and axles to keep them on track. Right, have, a, have a quick get deco, have a measure, and see if you can come up with a, a suitable number. Underground oilies, the tunnel rats, think that their railworthy motorbike and sidecar is just the ticket, but their timetable has been severely disrupted due to inaccessible axles. One, two, three, go! go! Oh, rats, can I just interrupt for a moment? Yeah. How's it going, Sick Nate? It's not. It's just not going together. It's just getting the parts. It's just getting the parts. We're having a hell of a job out there getting parts off. I mean, which we, we're. All on a low ebb at the moment. When you go back to work, if um, if it doesn't go too well, it's going to be a little bit embarrassing, isn't it, seeing as you actually work on train? Uh, I would say my promotional prospects have gone slightly downhill. I'll be, I'll be lucky if I'll be cleaning the toilets when I go back there and I'm working <laughs> on trains. I mean, we are going to get so much stick if we don't if we don't pull this off. OK, everybody clear. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa! The Nova has landed. <laughs> Nova has landed. Tranquility base out. We had 103, was it? Yeah. The pit stops aren't just a well-oiled machine. They're also building one. It's a cool, calculating operation. They're constructing the frame mechanism, which will lower their front guide wheels onto the track. 
Oh, what? Like a sash window, mate. That's just perfect. Perfect. OK, pit stop crew. Right. How's it all going? It's going well, yeah. Uh, we've got the taxi. You've chopped it in half. Yep. You're going to put the, the front axle on this. Front axle's going to weld on underneath here, mm -hmm. yeah, which is that component there. And then we're going to have some form of scissor jack in here, so we're going to lift this up and down. When they've positioned the tyres of their taxi on the rails, they'll need to lock the steering. In fact, they'll be relying on their guide wheels to steer them along the track. They'll then use car jacks powered by electric drills to lower the axle and hold the guide wheels in position. There'll be a similar setup at the back. Any slight error will mean the difference between victory and oblivion. What do you think is going to happen if you come off the rails? Mm, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hopefully, we won't come off the rails. We're going to accurately set the car up like we set the race cars up. OK, so you're going to be as accurate as you are with your race cars at yeah, work? Yeah, definitely. Get that shock out of the way up there. That's what's That's it. That's it, Jock. Now they've got the car on the ground, the rats have their teeth into the back axle. They'll need to widen it to match the gauge of the railway track and then add metal hubs for their guide wheels. All right. This detachable axle will be carried on the bike's sidecar as they drive to the track. They'll then position the guide axle or bogey on the rails, and because they won't be able to steer, they'll lift the front wheel of the motorbike up off the track into a metal cradle. There'll also be a fixed axle at the back holding metal hubs, and it'll be the four wheel hubs which will guide them along the tracks. The shape of the guide wheels is crucial if they're not to derail. We've decided to test three kinds of wheels to see which best stays on track. A straightforward tubular wheel, a pair of inverted cone wheels or conical wheels. All rail wheels have a particular profile, so let's test the tube first. Give it a push. Oh dear, that's no good. Better try the inverted cone wheels. Oh, what a disaster! They're even worse than the tube. Let's hope it's third time lucky for the conical wheels. Will they make it to the end of the line? I don't believe it. They've rounded the bend and, yes, they've made the grade. So, conical wheels are best. All right. But the tunnel rats, even with their underground training, are making theirs from car hubs. You'd have thought they'd have known better. Yeah, good enough. So if he gets on with that, I'm going to get on with the other one. You give Ben in, because I only need, I can roll this myself. Roll, roll it away a bit and we'll use them lines again. And the pit stop crew also beg to differ. They're cutting sections of tubular steel and welding one side of the tube onto an old brake disc to give them an inner edge or flange, as it's known in railway speak. And there's not a cone in sight. OK, so I want to go that way, yeah? Yeah. Ooh. It's only about a mil out now. Go on. Which way do we want to go? It's within two mil. Fast inspection? Yeah. <laughs> Sound. I've seen worse on the railways. <laughs> Do you think the actual design of their wheels will function if they, if they get them at the right dimension at the right? They'll width, have to know? get the gauge exactly right, right. for that for that yeah. to work. Oh, However, if they were to derail, they would have a real problem getting yeah. it back on again. Yeah. The one thing that concerns me is the um, their method of making flanged wheels. Um, I think they will get a bit of a problem welding steel to cast iron. They seem quite confident. They said, "Yeah, we can weld that. We can weld." Well, that. they you know. They, they probably can, yeah. 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 I don't think I could. Right. Uh, yeah. I feel a bit sorry for the tunnel rats. They, they've had a lot of problems finding the right bits. Yeah. But their, their basic concept, I still think, will not work. Right, right. Um, and is that because of the wheels, or that, is that just because of the whole design of it? That is because they're, what they're using is, is uh, the hubs of car wheels yeah. um, to run on rails. Right. The whole essence of, of, a, of the guidance system is, is in the wheel flange. Right. Unless they can get rid of the, the flange on the other side of the hub, right. you're going to have this problem of the whole thing flying off every time you go over the points. It's just going to, it's going to tend to ride off the it's road. It's going to just come to... right off, yeah. Right. But what about the rest of their design? I mean, is that the, the, the kind of I, the idea of the actual vehicle itself? If we sort of ignore it's the rail, it's complete madness, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> trying to find some small ray of hope for them. We just cut that bit at the corner. So you just want to cut this on lip taken off here? Yeah, just on that lip, so, that, so it doesn't stick up. At all. Right, look. But the rats have seen a few railway wheels in their time. They've got tunnel vision, so they're cutting off the outside rims to give them a flange on the inside, and voila! 
classical conical oh. wheels. So now we've got a buckled rim here. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There it is. Yeah, well, slightly. We'll have to go with that one. Attention, please, gentlemen. You have six hours remaining. Six oh, hours yeah. construction time remaining. <laughs> Let's Thank get you. Going, guys. Thank you very much, teams. Okay, pit stop crew. Let's have a look at the wheels now, because the wheels, you've just done them with flanges, haven't you? Because I was earlier on talking to Robert about how actual railway wheels are conical, mm -hmm. and that's supposed to guide them on the tracks. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is going to happen when yours goes around the corner? We're going to be going a lot slower. It's the speed thing? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And that's how they're going to stay on? Yes. Normal rail wheels rely on the combination of conical shape and inside flanges to keep them on the track as they go round the curves. When the train negotiates the points, it's the flanges fitting between the main rail and the guide rail which ensure a smooth ride. The pit stops are worried that if the dimensions of their axles and flanges are slightly out, their wheels could get jammed in the points and make them derail. Well, but you are going to have to get it inch perfect, aren't you, to get it on the rails? You are going to get more than inch perfect, because these flanges have got to go down in the grooves. So you're talking millimetre perfect? Ish, yeah. Yeah. And, you, and you're happy that it's going to stay on when you go around the curves? Yes, of course. <laughs> the tunnel rats are making sure their rail bike is completely made to measure. They're marking out precise widths of the tracks on the floor of their workshop. This way, everything they build should fit on the rails. Penfold? Yes. Inside of the rim, was it? Sorry? Where was we lining up the wheel? Uh, it was on the inside face of that rim, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was on there, yeah, yes. Right, yeah. Just imagine that lines the rail. Yeah, that will do. Right. Yeah, okay. We're looking at actually that kind of shape. You all okay? You all right? You all right? Yeah, we're Everybody fine, mate. Right? Oh, we're, we're buzzing done. Look what you've done. You've turned the corner. It's, like, it's such a classic scrap heap moment. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand it now. You've got, like, this is the sidecar, and this can go on the road as it is. You're not yeah, taking yeah. this bit off. And that then stays the on front, there. The front wheel's going to lift up and sit on that front axle. So that's going to be much yep, higher up. Yep. So you're going to be, it's a bit like doing a yep. wheeler, but a constant yep, yep, wheelie. Yep. On the rail, on the rail. <laughs> I think I've actually gone out from bog cleaner to office clerk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get, you get it from the pit stop design gurus may think they're the kings of precision, but they've spotted a problem with their taxi. See, it's too narrow by a long way. By how much? 50 mil. The wheels aren't far enough apart to ride on the rails. That's not going to run on the track like that. OK. No way. And the rail's going to run there, and that means that this is not going to run on the rail. This is a very serious setback. We've got to get him out, inch and a half. And Pitt's Captain Dave is almost on his knees. But I've heard there's been a couple of sort of minor sort of issues. Uh, yeah, we've had a few things to set us back, we have. Right. But, uh... The widths of the track and the widths of the... Yeah. I can't quite understand it. Can you take me through it? Front and the rear track, we're missing 80 millimetres. This is the tyre? This is the tyre, yeah. Is. Right, so they're not, they're not going to be, like, resting on the middle of the track? No, nah, no, nah, we've got to add 40 millimetres per side, front and back. But, uh, oh, God. It's, like, quite a lot to be doing. There's a lot of work. We're running out of time. Yeah, It's not yeah. looking good. And two hours ago, we thought we were under control. Right, nearly, yeah, that's right. And so now went. it's all gone a bit peaked on. <laughs> <laughs> that may mean the pit stop crew's cab won't be leaving the station. While the tunnel rat's yeah. bike and sidecar will go roaring round the bend. Welcome back to Scrap Heap Challenge, where it's all changed for our teams of train constructors. The tunnel rats are bodging ahead with their railroad motorbike and sidecar. I think we've got the right distance between there. Yeah. This, these will both sit on the rails. But yeah. over the wall, yeah. it's the pits for the pit stop crew, and not the sort of pits they're used to at Formula One. Well, we're guidance is running. We've got to get this tyre running inch, inch and a half further out. They've got the size of their axles wrong, and their taxi is in danger of getting wedged between the rails. I think that with the pit stop taxi, uh, I don't think they could quite believe they'd been that stupid as to, you know, you, you always say measure twice and cut once, and that they've made the classic blunder there, haven't they? Even I know that four foot eight and a half, you just get the tape measure around and go, the tyres aren't going to fit quite. You've got to hand it to the tunnel rats that 
they've made an uh, amazing progress, yeah, have, uh, uh, but um, I'm very worried about the, the sort of friction aspect of that. They've got one rear tyre on the motorcycle that's yeah. going to drive on the, which is rubber, driving on, 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 one a, side. on, the, on, on one side yeah. on a steel rail. Yeah. And how they're going to stop is utterly beyond well, me. Yeah, I they've mean, got one brake on one tyre on one side. One brake on one <laughs> tyre on one side of rubber on a yeah. steel rail. Because what actually happens, I mean, on a real train, when you put the brakes on, I mean, it's hugely heavy, and you've got great big steel but there, wheels. But there's that, a brake on every single wheel. There's a brake on every single wheel. Is there? So there's yeah. much more brake power on a long train than there is on a short right. train. Right. Yeah. So can they skid? I mean, they can lock oh, up yeah. the wheels. And yeah. right. oh, in, in wet wet conditions. Right. Oh, that makes... Uh, yeah. Just wet does do it. And leaves and all that stuff. Le leaves on the, <laughs> leaves on the line is, is a modern problem because they use a different brake system now. Right. On the old trains, the, yeah. the brakes actually get hold of the wheel itself. Right. So any stuff like leafy, to, oh, leafy get stuff gets scraped right, off. I see. When a modern train's got disc brakes, right. and it so, doesn't touch the bit with, right. the, with the nasty so stuff. So literally, on. can literally a little leaf under a forty-ton train can go <laughs> and slide along. Absolutely, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you changed sides yet? Who's your money on now? I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to, to change sides. Oh really? Um, oh, yeah, really? I, I, I think that um, the tunnel rats are coming up on the rail as we say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The pit stops are also on the rails. They're so worried about their measurements that they've decided to check the width of their front guide wheels out on a real track. So that's OK. OK, so you're happy with this? You're happy this is going to work as you want it to? Yes, we think so, yeah. Yeah. problem now is we've got to move the tyres out on the taxi. And foolishly, we never actually measured them in enough detail. In other words, when this is on the track, the tyres will run off the rails. So the ti the tyres of the track taxi are going to be here and this is going to be here? Yeah, which obviously won't work. It won't work. So how are you going to do it? I can't say it's top secret. Dave! I'm not telling your secrets to the other team or vice versa. You can tell me. OK, it's a very nasty and horrible bodge, but I think it'll work. Mm -hmm. Does it involve your welding torch I'm by any chance? I'm afraid it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Open them up and make, make a bit of a... Yeah, okay. So the front wheel sits in it. Well, uh, uh, interfe uh, not interference. It'll be like it's this. full steam ahead for the tunnel rats. They're now working on a cradle for the front wheel of their motorbike. This will stop it wobbling about and hold it above the rails in a wheelie position. Okie dokie dokie dokie. That's going to work my end. It's not going to touch you. <laughs> Trust, no, <go> Trust <laughs> is everything dear John. That should be wide. That should actually do the job. Uh, teams, you have four hours Aye. remaining. Four Aye. long, happy hours remaining, teams. Thank you very much. Pit stops Dave and Mick are working on spacers for their taxi wheels. Onto there, drill them through the side, yeah, and then weld them round there. OK? It's the best we can do, really. Mm. Yeah, then put the bolts on. You're not going to rely on the thread at all? No. And there's just one final measurement to check, the width of the back guide wheel axle. So it's 1426, go on. Yeah, it's just it's shorter. So... And, uh, true to form, it's also wrong. Well, how are we going to get this apart? Just grind it. It calls for yet another nasty bodge, and it's going to take a lot of work to get it right. If we, clamp, if we take one of them on... Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, chipping hammer, and you can have it. Chipping hammer. Chipping hammer. Chipping on gut. Uh, teams, teams, your attention, please. Two hours remaining. So, we can do it. Two hours. You have two hours remaining, team. Not enough. Time. It's not enough. Yeah. <laughs> Got some work to do. Put a weld underneath the side and at the back. Put that one down. So, hey, that's going underneath. Do you want me to drill that one lower down? Try an axle now. Hang on, hang on. We've got to get him in the right place, haven't we? Captain Sicknotes finally licked his rats into shape. Come on! <laughs> Come on, a race! It's all looking a bit healthier now. Lazarus has arisen. <laughs> Lazarus has indeed arisen. So, come on, talk me through what you've got here. Got a back axle on. These are going to run on the rails. OK, it's so the rails here, yeah. yep. Driven by the rear wheel on the bike. Which is also sitting on the, on Look, the rail. Right. Front ones, where well, they're doing the axle there, that slides in. We lift the bike up, slides under the front wheel. Front wheel rests on that one. Perfect wheelie all the way down. I heard you didn't have that too good of brakes. How many brakes we got? Three? Uh, we've got one at the minute. One. We've got seven <laughs> wheels and one brake. 
Is that kind of not a bit low on the brake to wheel ratio? We can live with it. Okay, you got it? Oh, you're way out here. The pit stop crew still haven't got the measure of their machine. Are you sure that's right? They've welded the back axle back together and it's still not perfect. It's 20 mil too wide. We're going to have the risk of the flange hitting the nose on the joint. We just had to watch it when we go through the joints and make sure it's against the check rail. Yeah. So it, when it goes across the gap, it doesn't pick the nose up and stop dead. Right, OK. Good. Nothing we can do about that. Too late now. Well, they're up against it. I think there's no point <laughs> trying to paint a prettier picture than that. <laughs> Both uh, teams. Well, what can you say now? Yeah, yeah. Pit stock crew have, have turned from yeah. coolness yeah. personified to, um, to a blind panic. <laughs> screaming blind panic. And I saw one of them running around with a, a plug going, where's the socket, where's the socket? You know, which they have, they've been really sort of very organised up to now. Unbelievable, the, unbelievable. The tunnel rats have literally risen from the, <laughs> the mire <laughs> of the mess they were in. I thought they were dead and buried. Yeah. So now yeah. here they are back and looking in they're confident mood. They're very chippy. But what I love now is that the, the tunnel rats bike is now in its chopped position. Yes, it's <laughs> Constant wheelie. <laughs> and the thing is, mad, it's just not going to work. You still don't think so? <laughs> no <laughs> way. I've got to tell you that my money is still on the pit stop crew. Still with them, right. Uh, but their main problem will be that their flanges made of um, brake discs yeah. uh, last the course. Yes. I think that the pit stop crew will win. Right. Unless it's the other lot. Yeah. <laughs> In which case, they'll win. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Teams, you have 30 minutes remaining. 30 minutes remaining, teams. We are in a mess. Time is running out, boys. No, we're in a transition period. Transition period, OK, we're in a transition period. The Formula One boys are in a spin. They still need to weld the back axle into position. And refine their guidance system. Talk to me. Come on, baby. I can't see it. The can't rats are struggling with their bogey. Yeah, give me a knock on oh, this got to go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, boy. Come on! Oh, Sit. Get that on it. It looks like it's going to be a photo finish. Five, four, seven. Happy? Ooh, yes. <laughs> Stick it on. Just time to add the jacks to their guidance mechanism. Oh, it's a beauty. Lovely, lovely. Five minutes remaining. Five more Five minutes, minutes remaining, teams, that's all. Five minutes. The rat wagon is loose. And sick notes looking forward to sitting down. Woo! Ten! Nine! Eight! Seven! Six! Five! Four, three, two, one! Yeah. Okay, teams, the wrecking ball has donged its last dong. It's time to down your tools, and construction time is over! Oh. Now, tomorrow, we'll be making tracks Ooh. Yes, for the Bluebell Railway, where mm. you'll all get a chance to test your metal. So, oh. make sure you get a good night's sleep. Because tomorrow, you're going to be racing. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so will the rat's super light, seven-wheeled railroad racer, made from a bike and a random selection of old car hubs, manage to get on track? And will the cruise rail taxi with its high-spec, high-tech rail wheels tear up the line without getting pulverised by the points? Find out after the... Welcome back to Scrap Heap Challenge. We've come to the Bluebell Steam Railway in East Sussex for a railway rally to test the track worthiness of our two rattling good railroad races. There are three stages to this tricky test. The first leg will be to transfer from tarmac to railway track and drive up the line, negotiating the points along the way. The second will be to tug a trailer full of sleepers up the hill to the bridge and the last leg will be a race against the clock team with the fastest cumulative time will be the winners. Come on! Come on! Oxford Street, my man. Make it snappy, can you? <laughs> First, they give their machines a rather wet road test before they get to the line. 
and then they've got one hour to perfect the railworthiness of their vehicles. Come on, Marco, expert eye. The pit stops are still concerned about their wheels, but finish with a flourish. Taxi! There's just time for a last minute inspection of the tracks, and the rats have already spotted the potential hazards on the course the dreaded points. We'll slow down a bit over this. Yeah. We'll split the axle level wise, because that's going to go that way. And we're that's right, go yeah. Yeah. You can see the gradient now. That's a gradient, is it? That is a gradient. Believe me, on railway, that is a gradient. The first round requires the teams to drive to the track, mount the rails, and head up 150 metres to the station. All right, tunnel rats, when you hear the whistle blow, you go! Good luck! Come on! Yeah, we can do it! And they're off! The rats bike making light work of mounting the tracks. It's stopped. Right, come on. Okay, go. Yeah. Now for their front guide axle. Yeah, Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. One, two, three. Up. They're mounting their front bogey. And then we go into the fully chopped <laughs> position. <laughs> Last minute adjustment to the rail wheels. They drop the bike into its cradle and they are ready to go. It'd be interesting to see whether the thing moves at all, yeah. really. <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe it. <laughs> Nobody thought this would happen. Look at <laughs> Next, the points. Very smooth, isn't it? <laughs> one oh, no. could go one way and the other. Oh, right, could oh, but no, no, they both come this way, look. Wow. Oh, that's quite impressively good, actually. Very impressive. <laughs> yeah. Go! Oh. Stop, stop! All right, yeah. Go! Oh, can't believe this. <laughs> it just looks like it's been doing it for years. It looks like it's been purpose-made for the job. <laughs> God! <laughs> the rats are romping down the track. And you're there! That... Whoa, stop! It's a red signal! I think they're going to be at Waterloo in two hours, 22 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they going? They can't stop. <laughs> they can't actually stop. stop. <laughs> They've disappeared. How far does the rail go that way? Uh, another four miles. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you've, have you got a different opinion now about... Who might win now? I mean, would you? Well, I mean, that you might I'm, I'm absolutely moment, flabbergasted. They've done that, that, that works, so well but, um, and very smooth. You know, I mean, I'm naturally I've got to say it won't win. Right. <laughs> because that's going to make me yes. look an idiot, isn't it? What happened? I've just got a team of colourblind people, that's so. all. You know that you did that. You got here in five minutes fifty-one seconds. Five minutes fifty-one. You pleased with that sick now? Yeah. Um, yeah. It went well. It was yeah. really smooth. No problems. It eats points. It eats well. points it, for, it breakfast. Eats for breakfast. Yeah. It eats yeah. points for breakfast. Now watch how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> OK, pit stop crew, when you hear the whistle blow, it's time to go! Pressure's on. It's on big time now, isn't it? Not nervous at all now. A whistle please, Norman. OK. The time for the crew to beat is 5 minutes and 51 seconds. Sorry! Wheel spin! They're taking it rather slowly for a Formula One team. They're having a few problems mounting their road wheels on the rails. Go that way. There's a lot of arm waving going on down there. Yeah. <laughs> now they, they wouldn't have to do that on a Formula One pit, would they? Wouldn't no. They? <laughs> no. Have a look. Have a look. That's it. This way, Mr. Schumacher. So slightly <laughs> to the left. Oh, you're not right on your rails. <laughs> it is right. The jacks are whirring, and the guide wheels go down. They're drilling a hole so they can lock the steering. Perhaps they're, perhaps they're phoning for a taxi. 
It's definitely on the move. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Will they make it through the points? Nice and steady, nice and steady, nice and steady. Yeah, no problem. Oh, it's done it. It's there. Brilliant, uh, look at that. That's absolutely brilliant. So we've got a race on our hands. We've definitely got a race here. Brilliant, well done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And that's 647. Close. Close. Very. So that's slightly slower than it is. It's quite it? a bit yeah. slower, yeah. 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 Problem was when they got to the signal where they had to stop, they seemed to take some of the uh, pedestrian crossing boards with them. Right, we hear you. So they do have a bit of a problem with their wheels clearing uh, thing, delicate things like pedestrian crossings. They do indeed. At the moment they're trying to extricate themselves from it. Next, a test of pulling power. They'll have to pull a one-ton trailer full of sleepers up the hill to the bridge. OK, pit stop crew, couple up your trailer for the second round. Pit stop crew, are you ready? Yes! OK, on my mark! Nice, slow, steady start, very good. <laughs> Quite a lot of pushing. Quite a lot of pushing. That's very smooth, isn't no, it? No, it's, going it's actually moving, it's pulling the trailer along, yeah. isn't it? Oh, keep going! Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Something very ugly has happened. <laughs> Huge lump of metal sort of dangled there. Well, they're still going, though. How are they coming? I don't know. Looks like they've lost a wheel. It's still the, going. It doesn't like the still, points, does it? Still... <laughs> it doesn't like those points, does it? Only three wheels on their wagon, but they're making good time. something of yours back on the track. Oh, well, that's where you. it went. Wonder no. where it had gone. We're just so careless about these things. What I need to know is, um, whose welding was that? Marco. Marco. It sustained an impact earlier on in the day. Do you mean it got a bit broken when you hit the uh, yes, wood, wood back so down there? We didn't there. only break the, uh, the track, but we broke the vehicle as well. That's not good news, really. But you reckon you're going to be all right with just those three? Yeah, we We're think so. Open, so. No problem at all. What's the situation over? Well, the pit stop crew managed that part of the track in two minutes and four seconds. Two minutes, two minutes four, four seconds. seconds. Very good. Next up, the rail rats. Will their 650 have enough grunt to shift the heavy trailer? OK, tunnel rats, couple up your trailer, ready for the next run. Right, right hold it there. Coupled. Tunnel rats, are you ready? Yes! yes. <laughs> They're off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed they put that's not going so They're not right. actually pulling it, are they? No, they're, 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 pu they're pushing that. Well, I don't think, no, not that much. Okay, go on, hold on. Clear that one! Hold on, hold on. Come on, the rodents! Come on, tunnel rats! <laughs> and they did it in 129! Would you, Adam and Eve? It. They did it quicker than the taxi. That's amazing. That puts the old tunnel rats rather considerably in the lead, I would think. Yes! yes! Pit stop crew. Tunnel rats did that second stage in one minute twenty-nine. Ooh. That means the cumulative scores for tunnel rats is seven twenty, and for your good selves, it's eight fifty-one. Oh dear. dear. Okay. Now, of course, it is still doable to make it up on the final bit. Anything can happen. Anything can indeed happen. Now for the speed test. Tunnel rats, go on the sound of the horn! <laughs> Still quite gentle though, quite a gentle they're not progress. Really they're not kind of like, they're not like rip roaring along. No. The rats are way ahead, so they can afford to take it nice and easy. They just need to stay on the track. They're taking it very, very slowly very across the point. Slowly. Come on, you rats, give it a bit of welly! Come on! Excellent. Oh, 
quite amazing. I, I was so wrong. I must have been. <laughs> so it looks like you're going to have to get that hat off and eat it in a I, bit more. I've got to eat my hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done, rats. Well done, lovely. Do we have a time on that last final run? We do indeed. It was two minutes... 21 seconds. And uh, there's four very, very happy rats down here. Well, yeah. that's it now! Yes! yes! <laughs> There's still all to play for. If they can make it down the track in record time, the pit stops could steal the competition. They've got to go fast on this They've one. got to it's go. This is the time. speed trial, yeah. and I think that you will need a full set of wheels. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> now one short. Yes. <laughs> pit stop crew, on the sound of the horn, start your final run. <laughs> They're coming. They're, they're coming. They're they coming are coming fast. fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That is shifting. Oh. Are they slowing up for the points? I'm not sure. Well, not that much. Not that much. Yeah, I can't move. <laughs> well, their brakes set anyway, don't they? That was very nice. They slowed down really fast. Yeah. They? Yeah, they're making the points fine, aren't they? Yeah. Not a problem. Oh. Yeah. oh. Just as we said that. Just as we said that oh. coming off. I think it may have come off the tracks, guys. I think it's come off the track, yeah. The track's just, just as you, that happened, we said, look, they're going really well, they're not coming off the tracks at all. Plonk! <laughs> at that perfect moment. One, yeah. two, three. You know, they ain't working there. We've got a long way to go with this. Bend the bar. Pit stop crew. I'm afraid I'm going to have to hang, hand you the chequered flag. It's a sterling effort, but you knew when you came off the tracks that... They're really the only going to be on winners, and they are the Tumble Rats! Yay! Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. <laughs> so, with victory ringing in their ears, the rats go on to fight another day. Excellent. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Next week on Scrap Heap Challenge, it's a bit of a wind-up as our teams race to build life-size clockwork cars. The young ones, the youngest team ever to fight it out on the scrap heap, faster, 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 faster. take on a trio of tough prison officers in a battle to build the ultimate hand-cranked chariot. All the prisoners are going to be watching this, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Are they going to give you grief if you oh, lose? Yeah. OK, I'll do, mate, I'll do. Put your pug on the left. Ha, 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 ha.